Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. And we're in the middle of a mini series here on favorite fall lipsticks for fall. And this is part three. So part one, we covered reds, oranges, and terracottas. Part two was the berries and the deeper browns. And today in part three, we are going to be looking at nudes, pinky nudes, and rosewood shades. So that's what we're covering today. We have a dozen in each of these videos. And the idea is that everybody should be able to find something that they like. We've got some cooler tones, warmer tones. We have different finishes. So hopefully there's something there for everybody. We also have a variety of brands. So if one thing's not available where you live or it's harder to find, hopefully you can find another option in this video. And I'll leave the other parts linked down below in the description box. Be sure to check those out. Now, I know a lot of people have been really enjoying this little mini series and I have had a request to do like liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. So we will do another video on those. And let me know down below if you wanna see uh, like another set just for lip glosses and a set just for liquid lipsticks or combine those two together. So let me know your thoughts down below and let's get started with today's selections. First up, we're going to start with this Chantecaille Lip Veil. This is in the shade Honey Pot and all of the lip veils from Chantecaille do have, you know, a philanthropic portion to it where a portion of the proceeds will go and this, I believe they are supporting the Sheldrick Wildlife Foundation, supporting the elephants and so forth with this. So this is Honey Pot. And you can see it's kind of like this peachy pinky nude shade. And let me just build that up a little bit more here. And this is just a gorgeous, wearable, everyday shade. It's a classic for a reason. I absolutely love this. It's definitely one of my favorites. The Lip Veils from Chantecaille, they are going to be a very thin formula. They're glossy, they're balmy, they're not as thick as the lip cheeks, and they're fragrance free. So definitely you know, a really great formula, but they are gonna typically be a little bit lighter weight on the lips. Another lightweight option, but this one actually feels a little bit balmier on the lips, and this is the Sisley Fido Lip Twist. And this here is shade 24. This is one of my go-to shades, and you can see it's kind of, a lip crayon here, but it's got a lot of sheen to it. So it's supposed to be like a lip balm, lip gloss, lipstick hybrid. And I think this is beautiful. So you can see this one's kind of a rosy nude. You've got some brown in there and some rose. And this is gonna be a slightly warmer rose, but kind of mixed with a cooler brown. So you get a little bit of both worlds. Whereas the Chantecaille, you know, this is gonna be pretty neutral, leaning a little bit warm. Now the Sisley Fido Lip Twist, these are so easy to use. I love these. This is one of my go-to shades. The other one that I absolutely wear the most would be shade number one. And that one has a little bit of shimmer in it. This shade here, 24, does not. You can see it's really kind of a soft rosewood shade and it's absolutely gorgeous. These are really comfortable on the lips and so easy to reapply. I just keep these like in my purse. Next up, this is a true luxury lipstick. It really, the expensive part is this case, it's called an armor. This is from Valde, and we do have the lipstick go in. It's magnetic here, and you can purchase just the refill portion, which is around $40, $45. This shade here is called Curiosity, and you can see it's kind of this soft, rosy shade here really, really beautiful. It's going to be a little bit cooler, a little bit pinker than the Sisley shade. I absolutely love this. So on the lips, you can see this is going to have a satin finish, but it's not going to be like overly shiny. Definitely not as shiny as the Sisley was or as the Chantecaille. This is going to be a soft satin. It's very comfortable on the lips and just a really beautiful finish. This particular lipstick is in the very top of the price ranges for lipsticks. So it does make a really nice gift if you're looking for something very extravagant, either for yourself or for somebody else. But it's a really beautiful product. And again, the armor is the case. You can put as many different refills in there, you know, switch them out easily anytime, kind of like the Guerlain Rouge G cases. Which brings us to our next option. So this is from the holiday collection from Guerlain. This here is gonna be shade number eight, Nude Alchemy. 
the beautiful stars on here. And this is going to be in the Rouge G satin line. And you can see this is going to be a peachy nude. And it's going to be, it's pretty neutral actually. It, it, because of the peachiness, it does run a little warm, but it's pretty neutral. I think it's a great everyday shade. Since I picked this one up, I've been wearing this nonstop. Now on the lips, the Guerlain Rouge G Satin, very comfortable. It has a finish that is going to be just kind of in between the finish of the Valde, which is a little bit more of a satin matte in comparison, and the Sisley, which has a bit more shine to it. So this one is going to have a soft sheen and it's just really beautiful, really comfortable, great everyday shade. Next we have one of the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets. This is one of my absolute favorites, and this is my favorite nude matte or velvet. So this one here is shade 10 Beige New. Look at this beautiful, beautiful shade. So in the bullet, I feel like it looks a little bit peachier and lighter than it actually does on the skin, but you can see this is gonna be a warm nude with a touch of rosewood in it, actually. So I wouldn't say it's super beige. It's actually more of a rosewood mixed with some beige. Now, when you look at this on the lips, if you put on a lighter layer, you can definitely see more of that peach, the peachy beige undertones in this lipstick. But once you pile this on, you see a little bit more of that rosewood, a little bit more rosiness will peek through. It's a really beautiful finish. I find the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets to be very soft and plush on the lips. They're not drying for me at all, and they have a really great longevity, so they really perform well throughout the day. Next, we have another Byredo favorite here, and you can, again, put the lid on this way, so it's kind of like a little bit of an S, or you can make it concave and convex. This one here is from the Shimmery Nudes collection that came out last year, and it is Amber and Furs. And look at this beautiful, beautiful color here. You can see that there is going to be a sheen to this, and it is just going to be a really beautiful rosewood brown shade. So while we looked at this one having rosewood, a little bit extra peach in there, and kind of a softer nude, this is gonna be like a deeper brown mixed with the rosewood. So again, this is part of the Shimmery Nudes collection. There's not really any glitter in this, but it's just the way the light hits the finish on this that makes it seem to shimmer in the light. And it's just really beautiful. On the lips, I find the Byredo lipsticks to be incredibly comfortable. They're fairly long wearing for a satin. You're getting like maybe five hours or so. And I absolutely love them. These are heavy duty metal cases, so they're really nice. And it's this one is almost like a soft metallic, not quite enough to call it a metallic though. So I think it's just really beautiful, great shade. And this one is going to be fairly neutral. So it's a little bit deeper than one of the, the ones that we've looked at so far, but it's gonna be fairly neutral on the spectrum. Next, we have the Sisley. This is the Fida Rouge lipstick in 15 Beige Manhattan. Definitely a favorite shade here. The shapes of these bullets, by the way, you can like kind of turn these. So I like the shapes of these as well. I think they're fairly easy to use and they're a little different than everything else. And again, we're looking at kind of these like rosewood shades here. This is gonna be kind of a soft rosewood beige shade. This is kind of right in between the, uh, the Byredo and the Givenchy but this is going to be a satin, just like the Valde. This is gonna be a softer satin in finish, not quite a satin matte, but closer to that than many of the other choices that we're looking at today. Next, we have Dries Van Noten. This is a matte in shade 15, and this is kind of a mauvey brown shade. You can see this is like a plummy soft brown. It's almost like a little hint of mint chocolate mixed with mauve. It's gorgeous. So I think this is a really beautiful shade. It's also really unique. And because of those movie tones, this is gonna run a little bit cooler. On the lips, these matte lipsticks from Dries Van Noten are very comfortable. I really like them. They do dry to a more powdery finish than the Givenchy, which kind of remain a little bit more emollient. But, you know, this would be my second favorite matte finish. Uh, the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvets, I like that creaminess just a little bit more. Following that though, these Dries Van Noten mattes are fantastic and these are gonna last like all day. So really a great lipstick. 
Next, we have one of the Dior Attic Lip Shines, and this one here is going to be, it's actually written down here on the refill, but this one is 418 Beige Oblique. And this is just, we'll put this one down here, but we're getting running out of room here. You can see this is gonna be a soft, high shine finish here. This is going to be kind of your soft beige with a little bit of peach. And again, we have high shine, and this one does, it's not technically one of the glittery ones, but it does seem to have just a little extra shimmer to it, even though there are no actual glitter particles. So on the lips, these are really comfortable, but these wear more like a lip balm that, so you're gonna wanna reapply these every two to three hours, but it's a great product to have like in your purse, just top things off, get a little extra shine, a little extra color. I find these to be really comfortable and you can switch cases on these as well. Next up, we have a Valentino lipstick. This is going to be 123R and I really loved this whole collection that Valentino came out with and um, this came out was it the beginning of the year or the end of last year but this is 123r you can see this is going to be kind of a soft rosy nude shade kind of your pinky nude this one's definitely going to be a little bit more pink a little bit more rosy than many of the other ones that we looked at now on the lips this is going to be kind of a creamy matte but this will dry down to a more powdery finish it doesn't hold up quite as long as the dries van known or the givenchy but definitely longer than a satin lipstick I find them to be comfortable on the lips. I think they're a really great formula. Next, we have a Chanel Rouge Allure in 198 Nuance. And this is going to be kind of a deeper rosewood satin shade. And you can see that this is gonna be kind of a warmer rosewood. So yes, we've got those rosy tones in there, but we have a little bit of a uh, like more orangey red shade in there as well, which kind of makes it just a touch warmer. And on the lips, you can see this is gonna be a really beautiful satin finish. And this is, it's just really comfortable. It's kind of your classic uh, formula from Chanel. And I find this to be a great shade. They have a lot of really good options for the, uh, you know, for the nudes that just recently came out. I do find that they all run fairly warm. This is one of the cooler ones, kind of in the medium depth range of color. And last up, we have a Dior Rouge Dior Forever in 505 Forever Sensual. And this has a slim style Stila, which really helps prevent breakage. These are gonna be a soft, more of those like velvety finishes. You can see this is definitely going to be a warmer tone, peachy nude shade. This is peach with like kind of a warmer, more golden, brown shade mixed in there and it's really beautiful. Now this particular formula, it goes on more like a velvet or a matte, that's what it is. This is what I'm wearing on my lips during this video today. And these will last pretty much all day. So this is the type where you put it on, you let it set, you can layer on another layer of color if you want, but let it set, it'll dry down. And then that's really going to last unless you're eating something like oily or greasy. For me, these will last like through like drinking water and things like that without having any transfer. So they are essentially transfer proof. Of course, if you go in and you use something oil-based, you will have some transfer. But for most regular activities, they are essentially transfer proof, mask proof. So a really great option, especially right now as colds and flu and all other illnesses are going around again during the cooler months. So these are the 12 lipsticks. I have to say, I love these colors for all year, but these in particular are ones that I've been gravitating towards with the cooler climate and so forth. I think during the spring, I usually end up going for something a little bit rosier, a little bit cooler in tone, whereas a lot of these are gonna run a little bit warmer because they make me think of like fall and so forth. Now, we did cover lip liners in each of the videos. I would have to say that this one here from Esum in shade Blushed, is one of the best lip liners to have for this type of lip color because you have two sides. We have one side that is gonna be kind of this rosy pink and one side that is more of a peachy nude. So it's just a really versatile liner. The Esam liners, they perform so well. They're super creamy. I really like those. A couple other options, and by the way, in the first video we covered some nude lip liners, which of course will work with these as well. But we have a couple from Givenchy. This is number eight, Parma Silhouette. 
This is gonna be a drier pencil, more like your traditional. This is a movie pink kind of shade. And then this one here is number nine, Mocha Renversant. And this is gonna be a little bit more of a deeper brown with a little bit of cinnamon. I actually have that one on today with the Dior Rouge Dior Forever lipstick. Another one I like was Chanel. This is number 164, Pive One. And you can see this is going to be kind of more of a rosy shade here with a little bit of mauve. And it's just like a great everyday pinky shade. And then we have a few Pat McGraths. Now, unfortunately, my favorite Pat McGrath is Done Undone, which I don't think they make anymore. But you can see it's this perfect peachy pinky nude shade. This has been my like go-to lip liner for years, but it's really hard to find now. And then another Pat McGrath that I use a lot is Starstruck. So this is gonna be a brighter pink shade. This is one that goes well with some of those like pinkier shades that we looked at. Or if you're working with a nude that is just a little bit too warm and you wanna cool it off, you wanna add a little bit more pink, this is a great one to mix with it. Now for me, it's really hard to narrow this down to my top three from this selection. I absolutely love and wear all of these like all the time throughout the year. But right now, the three that I'm using the most would be the Guerlain in number eight, Nude Alchemy. We have the Givenchy Le Rouge Deep Velvet in number 10, Beige New. And we also have the Valde in Curiosity. So those are kind of my top three right now. But again, I wear and use these all the time throughout the year. So these are all favorites. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know what you think, what favorites you have, what you've been wearing a lot of. I'd love to know down below in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And thank you so much. I hope to see you again very soon and have a great day.